Hello, for this assignment today I will be discussing the relationship between modernization in this day and age and the impact that it has had on religion uh, with specific regards to three religions, Buddhism, Islam and Christianity and how and the similarities between how they have approached this issue of question of their beliefs becoming questioned uh, in the western world and becoming outdated uh, becoming regarded as traditional and in some eyes incredibly uh, close-minded the Buddha Buddhism was the first religion that I investigated and at the end of my research it is definitely the most flexible religion amongst the three in terms of being able to adapt to a changing western world and uh, with its core values revolving around being humble, modest, tolerant, etc. and due to their, its accepting nature being able to adapt and change its perspectives through the stemming of the same religion such as Buddhist Christians, Buddhist Jews and Buddhist atheists however restriction coming in terms of karma which has now in the western world uh, started to be is starting to be viewed in a very nihilistic harsh negative light um because we have now realized that it's basically blaming all the things that go wrong in your life based on things that uh your wrongdoings in the past in your past lives which you have no control over um which is very quite depressing uh, yet buddhism has not changed or has said anything on the matter and has not changed its core value in terms of christianity it follows buddhism in terms of its flexibility and its ability to adapt into it modernizing world, its core values revolving around hope, love, and faith, and it has showed some progress in evolution throughout its 2,000 years uh, in terms of the increase of Bible use, the, the frowning upon dark magic, uh, the increase in female priests and in feminism. However, some outdated beliefs still remain, like the controversial, very infamous issue of sexual acts with a, with a person of the same gender and sexual acts outside of marriage, both being regarded as intrinsically evil, and this being supported by Pope Francis in 2016. Um, Showing again how rigid they are being in terms of that value that has been very much uh, seen throughout the whole Bible. Uh, speaking of being rigid, Islam was perhaps the most rigid and harsh and strict uh, religion amongst the three. Uh, its core values revolving again around faith, family, and putting God first, and some of its outdated beliefs in this day and age, in this Western world, being uh, uh, the kind of like allowing gamblers and drinkers to be punished. Uh, various examples of that throughout the last decade and their traditional perspective on men and women's roles in society being saying that men are breadwinners women are housewives according to answering islam.org and a quote directly from the quran stating how it is okay for husband to hit their woman uh, for husband to hit the woman um so basically we can take away from all this is that uh they all religions approach to the reforms with a clear no albeit to different extents and their main way of changing if at all like buddhism was through the creation of different branches of the same religion not actually changing the the core religion fundamental religion as a whole and coincidentally the strictest religion the one with the highest leash i.e islam was the one that brought the most substantial amount of violence and horror into the world respectively uh through terrorism um, so what is the T and it K in all this? Basically, uh, you can link it to uh, various things. First of all, leading leading me to question why we seem to be fighting on which religion is the best and most modernized, since they all base themselves on different ethical values and different ethical pillars. If we take a look at Jonathan Haidt's five pillars of morality, we can see how Buddhism is most directly linked to the pillar of harm and care, Christianity to the pillar of authority and respect, and Islam as well. So we shouldn't be fighting or competing about which one is higher up than the other, as long as they are both uh, achieving the core principle of religion, which is trying to get us to all act morally and ethically. We mustn't be so quick to judge and recognize where others are coming from their perspective before we gather conclusions however on the other hand for some religions like islam their belief system was much more which very was very strict stricter than the, uh, the rest and it is what sometimes i believe is what sometimes triggers them that rebelliously etc um through terrorism as an example and the implications of pulling the leash too tight is not having enough freedom to think for yourselves and completely relying on your authority figure and what he stresses most when acting morally also this uh, spikes my interest in terms of how faith as a way of knowing becomes less and less prominent and trustworthy as our knowledge through other areas grow over time such as our use of logic and our increasing over dependence in the natural sciences and sense of perception to gain knowledge reason becomes way more impactful in terms of conducting our lives and our moral compass take the example of islam for example and the ever the ever-growing idea of everyone is human everyone is created equal thus using reason uh, everyone should be able to express it like that that is how doing the simple reliance on an authoritative figure, the Allah in the Quran, telling us, simply telling us that men and women have to act a certain way. Uh, furthermore, it can lead us to question the evolution of religion as a whole and how it is 
uh, subpar in comparison to our interdependence in logic and science. Religion is not needed anymore. It is becoming obsolete, according to p the prestigious Huffington Post. Even the religions that are making a small effort to change have some core values that have been called to question in this day and age. And if the sole purpose of religion is to is to lead us to a right ethical pass, and 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 some religions present contradictory, uh, traditional, and close-minded beliefs, leading us to violence and war, do we really need religion anymore? Are the cons of a frigid religion that is act that is acting uh, out that is out of context in this day and age outweighing the pros? Uh, I believe only time will tell.